Good evening, everybody. It's uh, the 12th of February. Um, Ashley and I went to a Trump rally Monday in this great state of New Hampshire, Manchester, New Hampshire. We went to the SNHU Arena, and we went to the Trump rally. I've got videos I'm going to post with this, and we are back. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about with this rally, and it's all good stuff. Uh, we had, I think her name is Erica, who is Donald Trump's jun Donald Trump Jr.'s girlfriend. She spoke first after the minister. There was a minister that came. He spoke. He read two or three verses, said a prayer, left. They played music. Then a little while later, Erica Trump came, or Erica, not Trump, but I don't know her last name, but it's Trump Jr.'s girlfriend. She came up and she did a speech, which was pretty awesome. It was a good speech. And then Trump Jr. came on, and everybody was shouting 46 for him because they want him to be uh, the next president after Donald Trump runs his two terms. And he is going to get two terms. There's no doubt about it. And then Mike Pence came. Now, Mike Pence doesn't attend all Trump's rallies, and he came to this one, and he attended this one, and this was great. His speech was arousing, okay? And then Trump came. And that was awesome. It was just awesome. He read the snake. He did it all. It was it was great. I, I can't can't say anything bad about any of it. It was pretty cool. Um, but there's more. There's more. the The place had eleven thousand seats, and there were a few empty seats. But if the people that were standing in the middle, right in front of Trump, and I mean there was probably fifteen hundred sat down in those seats, they would still have a bunch of people standing in the middle of the rink. It's that simple. It was just, I mean, there was, they, they probably had less than 50 seats that were empty. And there's probably 1,500 people standing in the middle of that rink. So, you know, that's, that's a lot of people. They see 11,000 in that rink, in that arena. And it was just awesome. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is we got there after going through a snowstorm in Vermont, up and down hills and everything else. We got there about 4.30 in the morning on the 10th, okay? We spoke with some of the people who were already standing in line, found out what we could and couldn't do as far as parking goes. Excuse me, trying to finish my cigarette. Found out what we could and couldn't do as far as parking goes. We went and we spoke with a vendor who was nice enough to let us sit behind his van and catch a couple of hours because we were exhausted. We'd been up since early in the morning the day before. And, uh, you know, so it was, we were exhausted. So we got behind his vehicle, we parked the car, and we sacked out for a couple hours. Then we went to Walmart, we got a couple of chairs, a couple of ponchos, and we scooted. We got to where we were to the line we set our stuff down we were within i would say 250 300 people in line so we knew we were going to get in because like i said it held eleven thousand. so we're sitting there we have our trump umbrella we have our food we have our chairs we have our a sign that she bought um and our drinks because we brought drinks with us so because you know it's a long wait in line because they weren't opening the doors until three and the rally didn't start till 7. All right. Anyways, I decided I was going to do some YouTube videos, which you probably already saw because they were go they're going on first because I haven't done it yet, but they're going to go on first. And Ashley was with me. We left our stuff sitting in that line. When we got back, everything was still there. Nothing moved. Nothing disturbed. Everything was still there. It would have been so easy for someone to come along and steal our umbrella, our chairs, what have you, and they left them alone. We're not done yet. They let us in early because of the weather. It was rainy. It was cold. You know, so they let us in early. Instead of letting us in at 3, they let us in about 1.30, 2 o'clock. They started letting us in. So I grabbed up the chairs, the food, and everything that I could grab. And I hightailed it to the car to put everything away. When I got back, I realized I forgot the damned umbrella. Now, this is a big umbrella, and it's not allowed in the arena for this particular event so i said well listen i told ashley i said listen i'm, I'm not going to be able to run this back to the car and still get in i said you're going to have we're going to have to leave it out here and hope 
Well, that's what I did. I ran it over. I set it up against the building and just hoped, okay? We went inside. We sat down. We took our coats off. We set them down. We went out onto the, the center area where everybody the center area where everybody was um, standing, and I did a video there for the YouTube channel. And when we got back to our seats, our coats were still there. Everything that we had in our coats, my food or my, I I had food. And you, if you watch the one video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, the cigarettes I had because I'm a smoker, as you just saw, it was there. Everything was still there. Nobody touched it. Okay. Then we did the rally. We left. We went outside. I went over to where the, where the umbrella was at and it was not there. However, it was. It had been moved. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it was moved. But I found the umbrella. It was the umbrella. Not somebody's umbrella. It was the umbrella. I marked it. Okay. It was the same exact umbrella. It just got moved because it was laying against the building. All right, think about this. Where can you go? Leave thing, your personal property laying around and have it waiting for you when you come back to it. I have never seen that before. It was amazing. The people were honest. We met people. We talked with people. They were friendly people. They were great people. I can't think of anything bad to say about any one of the people. We spoke to um, people that were in line with us. We spoke to people that were sitting around us. We spoke with people on the rink. The vendors were all friendly. The police were not confrontational. They were all very friendly, very helpful, and very sure of what their job was. And that is the best part of it. We were safe and we were secure. When we left, there were, I didn't see any protesters. We were warned about protesters. We were told, don't confront them. Don't buy into what they're saying. If there's a problem, contact the the police. We did. Inside, or before we went in, there was an announcement several times that there was a safe area for protesters to go outside of the arena because it was a private, personally paid for event by Donald Trump and he didn't want any problems. They said that if you got, you know, if you're going to protest, there's a safe area for you to protest outside, just ask and they'll point you in the right direction. They told us that inside the arena, that sometimes protesters will still come in. If one is protesting, don't confront them. Don't put up with it. Just hold your sign up that they give you. And they give you signs. They give them to you. You don't have to buy them. They give them to you. Those Trump signs you see, the ones that say Women for Trump and Trump Pence 2020 and, um, let's see, what was the other one? Promises made, promises kept. They give those to you. You don't pay for them. They said to hold the signs up and start chanting Trump and encourage people around you to, to, to chant Trump. And you just keep doing it until somebody comes and removes the protester. And that way nobody gets into a physical altercation. You know what? That was great. And, but there wasn't any protesters. No, nobody held up their sign hollering Trump, 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 Trump. Nobody did. There were no protesters outside. What does that tell you? I'll tell you what it tells me. But I want you to think about what that tells you. You got it? It tells me that people are starting to come around. And George Soros is running out of money because he can't pay for protesters anymore. That's great if you ask me. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Trump gives a good rally. If you got a chance to go to a Trump rally, take it. The tickets are free. All it costs you is your food, your gas, and if you want lodging before or after the event, your lodging. Okay? That's all it takes. We chose to sleep in the car to save us a little bit of money. You don't have to sleep in your car. Oh, it also takes time, a lot of your time. you got to have time. If you, you can't show up at the last minute because you ain't getting in. I'm telling you right now, you're not getting in. The place was full by 6 o'clock. All right? The place was full by 6. If you come, you, you come too late, you're not getting in. Just because you have a ticket doesn't guarantee you're getting in. They tell you that too. All right? There's a large screen TV out there. You'll end up watching it on the TV. I can't help you on that part. But I will tell you this. It's an event of a lifetime. You don't have to be a Trump you don't have to like Trump to be a Trump supporter. I know he's rough around the edges and if you don't like that kind of person, then you're not going to be happy. But 
you can't vote. You can't use the election as a popularity contest. You got to go with what works. And I'm telling you right now, you may not like Trump, but it, he works. He gets the job done. He's done a lot for our country. He's got more to do. Vote Trump on November 3rd. Don't hesitate. Don't worry about the tweets. Don't worry about the personality. He's an alpha male. Alpha males rub people wrong. That's all there is to it, okay? He's an alpha male. He's not a bully. He's an alpha male. Alpha males get the job done. That's all I've got to say. You have yourself a good day.